HD cable sizing calculation. In this video, we will uh, see how cable sizing calculation is done using Excel spreadsheet. This is manual calculation. I have already prepared a video previously using ETAP software as well. So in this video, we will discuss um, the criteria, full load current criteria, voltage drop criteria and also the short circuit criteria. So these are the three main criteria we need to check whenever we are going to select any cable size. So let's uh, start. This is this is the cable which is connected with 16 MVA transformer. The voltage level is 132 kV by 11 kV transformer. And this cable is connected to the 11 kV side transformer LV side which is 11 kV. So basically we are going to do the calculation for 11 kV cable. Here the transformer rating is 16 MVA and uh, the voltage is 11 kV. We have considered the length of the cable as 50 meter and a AC resistance of the cable which is 0.13 ohm per kilometer. You can get this data from the cable manufacturer's catalog and this is the reactance which is 0. 0.071 ohm per kilometer uh, as you can see here the reactance value is much much lesser than the resistance cable resistance value so basically the reactance value of the cable that is very negligible as compared to resistance Fault level 11 kb fault level is 26.3 kilo amps that is defined. So these are the these are the input parameters uh, which we need to uh, define before proceeding the cable sizing calculation. Now going straight forward to the criteria as I have already mentioned that there are three main three major criteria we need to check. First one is that full load ampacity full load current carrying capacity of the cable based on the load current so we know that ifl full load current equals to p by root 3 into v voltage so power that means we are calculating the transformer rated full load current which is power that is the 16 mba transformer 16 into 1000 so this is kva divided by root 3 into uh, since this is three phase so divided by root 3 into voltage level which is 11 kV so this is coming as 840 ampere 840 ampere so this is the full load current so we need to select such a such a cable cable whose current carrying capacity will be 840 840 ampere minimum here we have selected from the manufacturer's catalog we have selected 300 square mm cable 3 core 300 square mm aluminium cable this is aluminium cable if you use copper cable that will be costly but that current carrying capacity will be higher than this aluminium cable so you can choose a copper cable also based on the project and budget requirement most of the time you will see the copper cables but sometimes uh, from the budget from the commercial point of view we need to use aluminum cables so here the current carrying capacity will be lesser than the copper cable obviously so what what are the now now we need to check we need to check the detecting factors as well so this 840 ampere is the uh, is the required that uh, transformer full load current transformer secondary side full load current and we have selected 300 3 core 300 square mm aluminium cable whose current rating is only 455 ampere 455 ampere and it is defined at ambient temperature of 40 degrees centigrade 
now suppose if your specification if the if your specification defines that your ambient temperature where the project is located that ambient temperature is 50 degrees centigrade but this cable this current rating is defined in uh, 40 degree ambient temperature that means you need to deviate that cable opacity so what is that we'll go to that point factor for okay first of all the grouping factor this is the grouping factor uh, 0.86 this is coming from the cable manufacturers catalog this will depend this will vary manufacturer to manufacturer <coughs> reduction factor 0.99 factor for non-linear loads which is 0.8 so total factor is the multiplication of this of these three which is 0.65 this is coming 0.65 that means you need to multiply with this multiplication factor 0.65 with the cable ampacity which is the for which is 455 ampere that means 3 core 300 square mm single run cable can carry the current of 455 multiplied by 455 multiplied by 0.65 ampere so that much of current it can carry and uh, which is not sufficient which is not sufficient to carry the transformer full load current which is coming as 840 ampere so so we have selected here three runs uh, three runs of cables that means uh, the current capacity is coming 455 455 ampere which is the normal current carrying capacity of the cable multiplied by 3 since um, we have considered 3 runs of cables and multiplied by 0.65 which is the overall deleting factor which is coming 887 ampere 887 ampere so this 887 ampere uh, is above this required 840 ampere so that means we can say this cable selection is okay so based on the cable ampacity or the cable uh, continuous current carrying capacity this cable size whatever we have now chosen which is 3 runs 3 core 300 square mm this is correct so this is meeting the criteria number one now coming to criteria number two which is the voltage drop criteria voltage drop that is equals to root 3 into full load current divided by number of cable run multiplied by r cos phi plus x sin phi r is the resistance cos phi is the power factor x is the reactance of cable and is sin phi multiplied by l that is cable length so if we consider the power factor is 0.8 then the value of sine phi is coming 0.6 so the voltage drop will be root 3 into root 3 into starting uh, uh, that full load current which is 840 840 amp 840 ampere we have seen here 840 amps divided by number of number of cable run here uh, 6 number of cable run multiplied by r cos pi r cos pi into x sin phi multiplied by cable length which is 50 meter so if we if we replace uh, with these values and calculate the voltage drop is coming only for 4 volt which is 0 0.036 percent so this is the normal uh, this voltage drop is the uh, under normal running condition since this cable sizing is not done for the um, we are not doing the cable sizing calculation for motor uh, this is the transformer feeder basically this is the transformer secondary side uh, secondary side uh, cable si sizing so we are not considering that starting voltage drop criteria here so in case of motor feeder we would 
see that starting um, voltage drop we need to consider so in that case the only thing will be that uh, this r cos phi this starting power factor this cos phi will be the starting power factor not the uh, normal running power factor uh, so we have considered here cos phi value of cos phi is 0 0.8 so for the starting power factor it will be considered let's say 0 0.3 or 0 0.25 generally it is 0 0.3 so in that case we can get that uh, starting uh, starting voltage drop also but here this is not required because this is the transformer feeder and uh, generally this criteria is uh, will uh, this voltage drop will be limited within two percent so this is limited within this two percentage that means this is this is correct so this was the second criteria which is the voltage drop criteria now we will go to the um, third criteria which is the short time rating short circuit uh, depending on the short circuit rating so here if we assume that transformer percentage impedance is 10 percent and we know that transformer rating is 16 mba so the short circuit mba will be 16 mba divided by 10 percent that means 16 mba 16 mba divided by 0 0.1 which is coming 160 MVA so short circuit MVA is 160 so short circuit current will be 160 MVA multiplied by 1000 that means KVA divided by root 3 into 11 KV since the voltage level is 11 KV transformer secondary side 11 KV so it is coming 8.4 kilo ohms this is the short circuit current 8.4 kilo ohms and uh, and uh, in our case it is 26.3 kilo amps for one second so we can say this is okay this cable size is okay so finally we have seen that three runs of three core 300 square mm aluminium conductor cable size is fine considering the full load current capacity also voltage drop criteria and also the short circuit criteria so all these three can be met by using uh, this cable size which is 3 run 3 core 300 square mm in this way we can size we can select the proper cable for other transformer feeders or it may be plain power feeder or any line feeder it may be motor feeder it may be vfd feeder in case of VFD, uh, we need to calculate that uh, uh, that voltage drop voltage drop criteria using the same formula. The only thing is that starting current will be uh, lesser than the DOL motor feeder. In case of DOL motor feeder, uh, we consider six times of full load current, six times of normal running current. Uh, but in case of VFD, it will be let's say three uh, three times or 2.5 times bft or uh, soft starter that will be the only change otherwise all the parameters are same for all other cables also this is 11 kb by 3.3 kb transformer the same criteria same criteria we can apply also so in this way we can calculate and here is the summary for the feeders uh, what we have done in one of the one of our projects so here is cable size number of runs cable length so total length is coming what how much cable is coming to generate the boq that uh, bill of quantity or bill of materials we need to estimate the total cable based on the individual cable size so this was today's discussion this is very simple topic but uh, sometimes we are stuck up during the real-time projects so i hope this video will help to improve your concept and overall knowledge thanks for watching this